Hi there. This is our TOS knee type universal milling machine. Big solid heavy duty mill uh, with good features like the rapids and feeds and all the axes. This one's coming out of a uh, government um, training organisation. There's been an older DRO fitted a long time ago. Um, the faults with it is um, one of the axes on the digital readout's not working. Uh, the X axes going left and right, and it seems as though it's the scale um, uh, down the back here or the reader head involved with that. The actual, um, if you swap a few leads around, the uh, readout itself seems to be reading on and working on all the axes, so I suspect that that scale's faulty. Um, the other thing I noticed with it is the wee tag here that shows the feed in um, neutral and rapid positions um, is missing. Someone's gone and put in some felt pen. Um, all of that. Um, I think that's about it. Oh, um, I noticed the light's not working, so I imagine that light bulb that's in it um, would have uh, broken its element. Alright, so we'll start from here. Um, they've got their own oil pump here and sight glass up there. Your feeds on these are really nice to operate. It's got the right angle single axis head there. And um, your gear change and power, etc., over this side. So I'll turn that on. That's their main oil pump running, and there's a coolant pump running there, off and on. Um, I haven't put fluid in it, um, but I imagine that system's working all right. Um, that's that spindle running in reverse, and I can change the direction here to forward. You've got dual um, levers here, front and, front and rear for your feed, so you can operate it all from that side. The rapids um, work with just the pump running, um, but for the feeds you need the spindle running to operate. So I've just switched it here, um, you've got your wee direction, which in this case is the up and, up and down rapids. Um, oh, I'd better take you through it manually first, I suppose. So, that's the knee operating there, by hand, and that's nice to operate. I'll put that down there and the cross slide that feels good with very minimal play there and the table feels nice to operate as well and a minimal amount of play there as well okay I'll take you through the rapids so that's the rapiding up And I'll put that um, to the table now, wrap it in away from me, wrap it in back. And the cross, wrap it in out towards you, and wrap it in. So those are the rapids. Now I'll start that spindle up oh, from here and take you through the feeds. So I've just engaged the feed for the table coming out towards you, which it is now. Um, I'll change that speed. So these speeds are really nice to operate on these, really easy to change. And now it's feeding away from you, that table. I'll change that now to the table. So it's feeding that way. Neutral. It's feeding back towards me now. And I'll change it to the vertical. It's feeding up at the moment. Neutral. And feeding down. So those are the feeds. So I'll take you through the speed range. That's its slowest speed there. Which was 45. So that's 63. Ninety. Now I'll change ranges. Ninety. 
250 and I'll change the ranges again and that'll be 355 500 710 One more range to go. So that is one thousand. Fourteen hundred. And last one two thousand. So those are its speeds, um, it's got the climb milling control here, your limit stops, um, etc. Um, uh, I notice it doesn't have any drawbars uh, for the head and for the horizontal. It's got the uh, arbor and two arbor supports so someone will have to get some threaded rod and make those drawbars up themselves. Um, apart from that it's all ready to go.